Hi guys, thank you for joining me for this yoga sisal video. The short yoga tips for yoga hips. Um, looking at the external hip opening um, that we apply in things like bound angle pose, so this sort of position, or our side lunging like warrior two, side angle pose, triangle pose, and even tree, the tree pose position. So a nice way to get an understanding for your own unique extent or range of motion, range of movement in the joint, is to lie on your back with the soles of your feet together and let your knees move out to the side. And you can see my hips, I've got pretty good external hip rotation, so my knees can come down pretty far. But it's also common for some people's knees to be up here. And then this gives them an indication, this will give you an indication of those particular hips range of movement. So remembering what that angle is and then applying that into your standing postures. So if you come to your warrior two, your front leg is your landmark. So you want to go where you're, so you want to keep rather, you want to keep your front knee stacked on top of the front ankle. The toes pointing forward, the knee pointing forward, the thigh pointing forward. And then you can only open that back hip as far as the front leg sort of lets you. So if you try and open up too far, see how my knee gets pulled in. So in order to make space into the front hip and make sure that front knee stays on top of the front ankle, the movement needs to come from the pelvis, not just by pressing the knee out to the side, because if the hips are open too far and I try and press the knee out to the side, I'm going to impinge into the hip socket. So let the movement come from the pelvis. Give yourself, give yourself space into the hip socket. Make sure that front knee is on top of the front ankle. And then you'll have the angle that is appropriate for your hips. So if you're, when you were lying on your back and your knees were up pretty high, you might need to have the back hip even angled more forward. I know it's warrior two and warrior two, the hips are open out to the side, but open out to the side has, can be lots of things. So, you know, there's variations. It can be a little, and then you take your arms out to the side, or because my hips had greater range of movement in the uh, external rotation, I might be able to open up a little more, but I'm not standing between two panes of glass, which once upon a time was quite a common um, instruction or cue, alignment cue. So from here, if I was to move into triangle pose, I'd still have my hips at this angle and tilt, or our side angle pose. So then it becomes a, a hip opener, but again, with relative to your own angle. In tree pose, that would mean taking the knee out only to the angle where your pelvis is square to the front and then let your knee point out to the side without turning at the hips because then it's not a hip or a hip opener then it's a pelvic turner so you want to keep the pelvis facing forward and exploring your own range of movement taking the knee out to the side externally rotating in the hip socket so i hope that makes sense um, if you have any questions leave me a comment or get in touch via Facebook or my website and I look forward to having you back soon.